what's up youtube what's up everybody welcome back to another video my name is kanzi beat and i'm back today guys with another awesome and amazing video for you guys so guys on today's video i'm going to show you guys how i made this amazing afrobeat fire loop so uh, make sure to watch it at the end of this video to know how i ended up making this awesome loop so if you're new to the channel make sure to go down there click that like button and make sure to support me by subscribing so yeah guys let's just get to today's video hey so yeah guys this is the loop i made and it sounds like this These are the stems. This, this, and then this is the okay. So guys, um, basically what I started off with is I had to like mute everything. So let me just quickly unmute this. So yeah, guys, this is basically what I started off with. I started off with this one shot sound from a cinematic pack I've got. Uh, I've also been using uh, one shot sound a lot these days. I might also end up putting out a one shot pack for you guys. So I don't know, but maybe in the future, if you really want that, you can go to the comment section and say you want a one shot pack. So uh, basically, I went to the piano roll and then I also I got the simple chord progression. And how you get most of this chord is go to your helpers and your helpers go to scale highlighting and then go to um, minor natural aeolian and then I use the key uh, F sharp and that's how basically I got my skill and then you know, I just paste this simple um, triad chord like this and then I paste uh, this one also and then basically all I did was just copy this over to the second part right here and then basically it was like, it was like this and then I took this one up an octave and then took the two bottom notes and then dragged them up one, uh, one octave to get you know a little variation from the beginning uh, the first two that I pasted over and then over moving on to this section you know I wanted this to just down to you know downgress like uh, go down and give this like sad uh, vibe so uh, it went down like this and then I just pasted this over like this and pasted it over again and basically I just took the bottom notes over uh, over to the top over one octave and then I also um, took this same notes like this and added it over here and then you know, basically just added this bottom note you know this is very easy to you know get once you just go to your helpers do the same thing i just told you go to your scale highlighting pick any skill you want but go to the minor uh a brilliant scale and then you're going to get awesome fire melodies and then moving on to the next thing i added next thing i added was this uh it's also a one shot sound this is called the melodic uh shot 20. Uh, basically this is just like a bell sound and this is what I got using the bell. So guys, if you just look at this, you're supposed to know this is basically the same root note as the melody I showed you guys before. Just like this. And then all I just did was, you know, get this, this. As you can see, this is the triad chord from the previous one. And then all I just did was just add this. And then add this and then also this all you need to go uh, to all you need to do to get started with stuff like this is just basically the bottom notes and then you can just you know build off your uh, your melody from your bottom notes basically it's very uh, you know very very easy to to do and then um for the effects uh, what i did for the first two was um for this one what i did was I added fifty parameter EQ, cut out some lows. It has, it had uh, uh, a lot of lows and then low end, and then it had. It was very very sharp to the ear, so I wanted to make it very uh, mid frequency. I wanted to make the mid frequencies uh, what we are listening to, and not the lows and the highs. So I boosted the mid frequencies a bit, and then I also went to RC20, and then from RC20 I added uh, the vinyl tree preset, which is I added the noise wobble, and then uh, the wobble I put it to stereo, and then put the wild flutter to like in the middle. And then I put uh, added some distortion and then I added space a little and then the magnetic and then I also cut out some uh, lows and then moving on to the next thing I added footy reverb to the uh, added the venue preset and then brought out the wet down a little and then basically that's how I got this without any effects on this high sound. Now the effect sounds like this. And 
then uh, the next uh, effect, uh, the effect I added for the bell sound was uh, basically I set it off with uh, parametric EQ, cut out some lows, and then cut out some uh, high frequencies, and then I had to boost the mid, mid frequencies, and I do boost the high frequencies also a little bit, and then I used uh, RC20, I used the vinyl tree preset also, and then I used the distortion, and then added magnetic. Basically, that's what I just did. Uh, this, it was a bit quiet, that's why I added RC20. I used the, uh, the distortion to just you know distort the sound, and then I also used ambient. Uh, I really found myself using the ambient uh, reverb plugin. This is a reverb plugin, and I think it's free. I don't really know, but I'm going to check and then I'm going to tell you guys. But I think it's free, so um. Uh, this is very very it's a very very good uh, reverb plugin. I found myself using it a lot in most of my uh, in most of my melodies. So uh, this is a very very nice uh, reverb plugin. So what I did was just increase the dry and then reduce the wet a little. Uh, it sounds like that. And then I also added Valhalla Supermassive. This is also a very very very, very good, good plugin. I use I use this two plugin, the Ambience and the Valhalla Supermassive. Uh, a lot these two uh, plugins are very uh, wonderful whenever you're making they are very very good for melodies and then i also added the uh, 16 voices uh preset and then i also used wider this is like a stereo separation plugin this is just widen the sound basically there are other plugins you can use to you know do do what the wider does but the wider is a free plugin so make sure to go check that out hey so basically and then moving on i used flex i went to flex and then i got the sound this is a steel drum sound and basically this is just what's going to get the rhythm of the whole sound going it's just going to add that bounce to the melody and then from there you can figure out where your drums are going to hit and where you know you can add some certain elements to your beat so basically this is what i got from the steel drum and how i got this was basically just using my ears and then following the scale uh, from the f sharp uh, aerial scale that we selected basically just placing notes in the uh, highlighted places and as you can see none of my notes are in the black uh in the black uh scale in the black spot because actually i don't really know music theory that much but i know there's a certain pattern or a certain way you can place a chord in this uh, black section and work but basically the minor knowledge i have i know basically all you need to just do is just you know place your um your notes on the highlighted scale and then you're going to get good sound so basically that's how i got this and then i also added some rows right here and then i also used the velocity mind you like i said in the previous video velocity is everything to add that bounce to your melody basically just uh i just drag down the use the right click and just drag up the velocity like this and then i also i did the same thing over here just copied this thing and then pasted it down like this and then also added a triplet, a oh, triplet row right here and did the same thing over and then you know this is just to like build everything this is just to like build everything back up again uh, like this so you know and then for the effects what i did for the effect is i just added ambience like i said i found myself using this plugin a whole lot it's a very very nice plugin and then ambience i added ambience and then i also added the uh fruity delay 3 and i used the ping pong and then i, I reduced the wet to like 40 percent and then i used valhalla super massive I, this is a paid plugin mind you it's not a free plugin so i use the chorus slap i went to the mod and then i went to chorus and used the chorus slap prefect prefect and then uh, moving on i went to this is um this is from a stock plugin in fl studio you can find that in packs go to pack go to instruments and then go to bass i use the uh classic 80 that's basically what i used and then basically this is what the, the pattern is So yeah guys basically this is just following the root notes of the melody this is a simple uh simple f sharp and then came down to e and then back up to uh, back down to d and then up to e again so this is just the same thing as you know uh the um, the bottom notes from this i'm just going to copy this and show you uh, show you guys what i did this is basically what i did i'm just going to copy this and then go over to this and then i'm just going to paste it as you can see this is basically the same thing so all this is all i do whenever i make melodies and then i just use the same the root notes of the melody 
that I'm using to make my to make my base uh, baseline progression or make my area rate. So basically, this is what everybody's saying. You always follow the root notes, but then you can go along the line and then add some uh, variations to it. You know, just make it spicy. You can, you know, uh, this is like a build up, and then uh, basically, it's just going to uh, come down to uh, D from uh, from over here like this. Basically, this is just gonna add that bounce to your melody. And for the effects, all I did was uh, for the effect, I just added uh, the fruity fast distorter, and then I went to do some oomph preset, and then I brought the volume down to like six percent, and then I went to fruity limiter because the sound was a bit quiet, and then I increased the gain. So basically, this is what we have. So guys, yeah, uh, moving on to the next sound, uh, I added this, uh, uh, it's also like a bell sound basically, I added this, you know, just make the sound, just fill up that empty space, yeah, that's right, we'll fill up the empty space in the beat and the uh, melody, this is basically, it just comes in once in every uh, bar, just like that, and then for the effects, uh, you, know, you know I really need to add ambience, I added ambience. This is a river plugin and then I brought the dry over here and then I increased the width like this. And then uh, basically I use a uh, shaper box and then for the shaper box, uh, basically I don't know why it's like this but I knew I knew I used the pan. I know I panned it to both sides but I don't know what's up with, uh, I don't know what happened with this uh, but I think I used this. Yeah, basically this is what I use, and then um, and then I use the uh, fruity uh, delay three, and then I went to uh, ping pong, and then I got the I brought the wet to like thirty four percent, and then basically that's all I did for the effect for uh, for this sound for the one shot sound, and then and then I moved to arcade. So yeah, guys, basically with the arcade, I just played some notes, and then. Uh, which I'm going to show you guys in the screen and then basically I just uh, deleted the arcade because it was taking up some CPU and then I couldn't record I couldn't you know record my screen with the arcade on it was just you know, lagging and crashing and everything so I had to delete it but basically I'm just going to show you guys the preset I used and then I'm going to show you guys the notes I used that's how I got this from the arcade got this And for the effect, all I did was just parameter EQ, cut out some lows, and then boost. And then I add uh, boosted the highs, and then I also added ambience. This is also a river plugin, like I've said before. And then I increased the dry and reduced the wet, and then added wider. This is just widen the sound, and then basically that's how it got this. And for the master, all I basically did was just add a uh, fruity limiter and then I uh, brought the ceiling down and increased the, uh, increase the saturation to about this point and then, uh, and then I loaded the uh, fruity compressor and then I brought the threshold to like 8.3 dB and then increased the ratio to 3.0 and then increased the gain to like 3.2 dB Basically that's all I did for uh, the master So yeah guys, so everything said, that's how I got this melody